Hello, my name is Gaurav and this is my channel. Recently, I started a series cloud and AI. I have started that after clearing that AI 900 exam. Okay, but I was thinking that le let me cover cloud concepts also in this. So hope you have created your uh, Azure account by now. So in this video, we'll try to learn a machine learning algorithm. I'll try to first explain you that how we can do that. And it's a part of an exercise in the Azure course. So if you go to this, so if you open this AI 900, which I have uh, shown here uh, in my previous video. So there are various concepts which I have already covered regression and all. I'll tell you the basics of this again, whatever would be needed. So here in each of the course, they have given an exercise. We'll try to do that exercise. For that, you would need an Azure account. You can see my previous video where I have shown that how you can, it's very simple sign up. Okay. And we'll, uh, if I click on this launch exercise, all this is written. They have told that it will take 30 minutes to complete that, right? We'll do this step by step. You can also do this uh, parallelly. Just uh, watch the video. You can increase the speed of the video if you want that, right? So there are various things we will do that. I'm not saying that you will become a machine learning expert, right? But you will understand that uh, how things are working, okay? And I'll try to explain you first and then we will go there. And if you're coming first time to my channel, do subscribe. So let's begin. Of course, Microsoft has given a link of... Uh, that there is a bike rental web URL where they have pasted the data and we have to run machine learning algorithm on that. So what I did was I imported the data here. So an important trick for Excel, many people don't know it. You can click on this data and then click on from web and you can give the link, uh, whatever link is there, right? So then it will import the data in this. Using chat GPT, I have, because there were some columns which I could not understand, like which is this A temp hum, right? I was not aware that what it is. So the chat GPT has helped me. I keep using it. I have created a video on the same. Okay, you can use this video on the screen uh, to learn about chat GPT. So A temp is, uh, it's like some temperature which people feel like, right? You might have seen that uh, when the news report comes, right? Weather report. So they will tell you that, okay, the temperature is 20 degree, but it's very cold with the wind and all, and it feels like 15 degree, right? So that is the feel like temperature. Okay, hum is humidity. So what this data is about that, this data is having around 700 rows. So you can say that uh, it's a data for two years, at least for 2011 and 12. So what they have told is on 1st January, 2011, where there was no holiday and it was a weekday, weekday sixth. Okay, and it was a it was not a working day, right? And uh, the weather set is weather situation. Okay, so uh, considering these factors, there were what, 331 people have rented a bike, right? Or it could be a cycle because in some countries for cycle also they use the word bike, right? And on this day, this is the 131, right? So we have to write a machine learning algorithm or machine learning algorithm is already there. We'll implement, we'll train our model so that if we give any input, right? If we give that, this is the day, this is the month, this is the year. And if we give these parameters, it should be able to predict, okay? And how close it can predict whether the exact number or not, that is called that, that what is the accuracy of that model, okay? So what we will do is, uh, we'll follow the process. I'll tell you that what is the process generally, right? So the first thing is feature engineer by feature engineering. We select the, we select that what all parameters will decide that, uh, and what is the output. Okay. So as you can understand that this is the output. Okay. So this would be called as labels and the features we decide from this category. Okay. So that these are called as features. So in this case, we already know that output, right? Sometimes we don't know that what would be the output, right? So when we know the output and we have to find a number in this case, because we want to know that how many rentals would happen on a particular day, we use the regression algorithm. So in the previous video, we have discussed regression, classification and clustering algorithm, right? So whenever you have to predict a number, you use the regression algorithm, okay? 
So what we have to do is, uh, there is a three-step process. In the first process, we decide that data, okay, that uh, which portion of data would be feature and which would be output. So in this case, this is the output, okay. Then you decide a model, okay. And then you split the rows basically, okay, that which data you will use for training the model. So what happens is, let's say there are 700 rows, okay. So we will say that, okay, 600 we will use to train the model and 100 we will use to evaluate the model. Okay, what does it mean that we'll give out of this, we will give 600 rows of data and run our model. Then model will try to understand what this data and it will try to, uh, to, to, to create a function by which it can give some output if we give this data. Okay, so we'll keep 100 data separate out of the training so that we will test that. Okay, suppose the model uh, a function has been created where if you give these parameters, all these parameters, these features, then it should give you the Y, which is rentals, okay? So we'll use 600 data to train the model and 100 data we'll check to evaluate the model, okay? So then comes the uh, evaluation, right? Or what you call that, you test the model, okay? Or you firstly, you deploy the model and then you test the model. Right. So we'll do all this step by step and it's very detailed written on the Microsoft documentation. We'll do this step by step, right? And we'll be able to achieve at the end, uh, test the model. Okay, so here they have talked about it. This was the data I was showing you. Okay, and in the end, they have shown that they will provide this input, which I showed you in Excel. And we will get a response that how many bike rentals would happen on a particular day, right? And I ran this already. Uh, and you can see it charged me 10 rupees, but it is free of cost because in Azure, you are getting 16,000 rupees. So if you see, I got the 16, uh, 15,000, uh, some 800 rupees, right? Around 200 US dollar. So now 10 rupees has been deducted because I ran machine learning algorithm once and it's all free of cost until I press this. So I'll press this upgrade button as well. So that we have discussed in the previous video. So let's begin. What's the first step? Okay. So the first step here is sign in into this portal, portal.azure.com and create a resource. Okay. So what resource they want us to create? Uh, Azure machine learning resource. So I will go to my Azure portal. So this is the Azure portal. Okay, let me explain a little bit about this portal. So on the left hand side, you will see your favorite. So anything you want to make a favorite, uh, just click on it and press this button. If I'll press this button, then the things which you are using, it will start coming here. Okay, so as of now, we want to do Azure machine learning. So I can maybe click on this or you can search here as your machine learning. Okay. So there is the search bar. You can search here as your machine learning. They want us to create a resource here. Okay, I'll create a workspace. Let's read it once. Create a resource machine learning. Okay, with the, they have given that your is your subscription. We have a subscription uh, resource group name region. So whatever you understand, it's fine. Like once you practice it, you will understand more, right? So we'll create a new workspace here. It's a free trial. So whatever you create in uh, Azure, it has to be under a resource group. Okay, just like whenever you create a file, a code file or normal text file, you create in some place like C drive or my computer. Your computer has a particular name when it is in network, right? So it's like that. So I'll create a new because I don't have any. Okay, I'll name it as Azure ML and I'll make it RG so that I know that it's a resource group. Okay, what name I want to give my first experiment. Okay, whatever name you want to give, you can give, doesn't matter. Okay, this region is that where this uh, server is placed or where I want my infra to remain. Because I'm in India, I'll make it Central India. They are creating some storage account for you, some key vault. Okay, let's leave that for now. You can click on review plus create. Now it is creating that. So I'll click on this create button and it will create and whatever you are doing, you will keep on getting the notifications here. So it is submitting and deployment. So deployment of my resource is happening where I just gave the resource group and rest it has automatically populated. 
and I selected a region. So my machine learning workspace. So there will be different keywords that you would be learning, like various workloads work in a different way. Right. So for machine learning, we need a workspace, right? So we created that workspace and it has automatically created some of the things, right? Key vault where it will store the keys, application insights and storage account, right? So the main thing that we wanted is Azure machine learning workspace. Okay, so let's lead the first part. Create a resource where you have to pass all of this. We did that, right? And so you can click on this go to resource. So we have a resource created and this is the URL for that, right? Uh, like if you want to use it in a programmatic way, this is the URL that you can copy it from. Okay. So I'll come here in the machine learning studio. And if you see the workspace that I created is already there, right? So what we have to do is create a automated ML job. Okay. So I'll click on this, my workspace. Now there is an option. If you see here, automated ML, that is automated machine learning. I will go there. Now we would like to create a job. Okay. I'll click on this new automated ML job. And whatever they have given, let's try to follow that. Let me open that side by side. So it becomes easier for you and me, both of us. Okay, what is the job name we want to give? Okay, we'll give this job name. So whatever they have told, we will follow the same thing, right? And, and there is no restriction on these names, right? If you want to give your name, give your name. Just for making it simpler so that you can perform it in the same way. Right, these descriptions are generally optionals, but we can give it. Okay, tags are the way by which we can remember things easily. Let's say that all of this uh, remember uh, belongs to a testing environment or some environment or something. Then you can give a tag by which you want to track something. So you can give the tag, or if you can don't want to give, don't give. So we'll click on next. Okay, what is the task type? Okay, task is regression. Right, because we are trying to do numeric values, they have explained also here that we want to know the bike rental. So we will select regression here. What is the data on which regression has to be done, right? So I'll click on create and we can give the data name as bike rentals, whatever they have written, right? Follow these things. I can maybe delete some portion of this video not to waste time, right? And the description we can give is this. And we know that the data is in tabular form. So we'll click scroll and I'll click on this next. Okay, from where the data is coming, the data is stored on a web page, right? Even if you have it locally, you can give that locally, right? To try things out. Maybe you can have your own data, predict something of your own personal data, right? Maybe how much you are spending and all. So I'm just following this, that from where the data is coming. Now we are giving information about the data, right? So that uh, because data is coming from online, it's a CSV file, right? I showed you that I imported that in Excel like this, right? It was a CSV file and Excel has helped me to put it in a tabular form, right? So it has already populated, delete, emitted, comma, UTF, right? Here I will change that. Only the first file has headers, okay? And this will remain none. So if you see data is uh, getting loaded, so it is asking us to review the data because there are 700 rows. It is taking some time, right? I Meanwhile, we can revise. So what we did is we had an Azure account. We created a Azure machine learning workspace where we created a resource group because every resource has to be a part of a resource group, right? And other things it has automatically added, right? It has automatically given the names. Then we go to this, uh, machine learning studio where we selected the workspace that we created in the step before, right? And then we are telling that we are running an experiment, this job, right? We have loaded the data and we'll click on next. Okay. So what they have told is include all columns other than path, right? So that we did now click on next. Okay. It is asking us to review, right? And then we can just click on create. Okay, so we are creating the data set, right? To train our model, data set we see in an Excel file, right? But you have to give it to the cloud so that it can do that automated machine learning thing, right? And we selected the regression algorithm, right? Now they what they want is that we have to uh, create a task, 
Okay, once your uh, your uh, data is ready, right? We can select this option, and the next will come, right? Our data is ready. Now we are doing the task portion of it. Okay, so it is asking that what is the task type? Task type is regression data set. We have already given what is the target column, right? Know that that we want to predict this column, right? This is the output the rentals column, right? So here we will select the target column as rental, which is an integer, right? Also it's written here, okay? And uh, we can click on this additional configuration settings. Here we can, so this is the, like in the previous video, we saw that, that this gives a metric, like when the model is run, you will see that how much it's varying from the, from the original like output, right? So you can select this and whatever they have given, you can do that, right? Explain best model. We can remove this, right? And instead of uh, like selecting all models, they have given us the models that we can select like random forest and light BGM, right? So I am selecting the models, right? Because we don't want to maybe spend a lot of, because the more models you run, the more it will charge you and all. And what is suitable also, for, for example, they have given us, so I'm, I'm not a data scientist expert, right? Or the person in the data science, right? So whatever they have given, we are trying to uh, follow that. So in this case, these are the good models, right? And we don't want to maybe run models for three hours, four hours, right? So we have selected it. So we'll click on save, right? And then what they have told us that in the limits, we can uh, make this restriction, right? max nodes and threshold they have given 0 0.085 timeout is 15 minutes right iteration timeout is so whatever values they have given you can just select them right this is the way just we are trying things train validation split right now this is the important part that how much percentage of data we want to use for validation so like i have explained you that there are 700 rows or 732 to be exact right we want to use 10 uh, percent for data validation rest of us should be to train the model okay next we'll press next right and what's serverless cpu dedicated all of this is written right whatever is default selection we'll do that number of instances one so I'll click on next, right? And then submit the training job. Okay, so the training job, what we did, we selected the data, we gave some parameter and we have submitted the job. Now this job is running. Once uh, this is over, we will see something like this. So some results will come over here. And in this drop down, we will see that, uh, what is the output and all. So let's wait for it to finish. So if you see here, this uh, job is running in the notification we see something it took a little time but it is running so let's wait for this status running to be completed so as you can see that the status is completed you can refresh on it and uh, then even you will see here that uh, whenever it's completed you will get a notification that it has been completed now as they have told us that our model is uh, trained on uh, whatever the data set that we have provided, right? The data set you remember, right? This was the data set that we use on which we trained our model selecting some algorithms regression, right? So now they are telling that go to model. So we'll see that, okay, this like BGM it is, and we will deploy it as they have said, deploy as web service. I'll click on deploy and as web service. Okay, we want to name that model so we can, because there could be multiple models, that's why they want all these names. Okay, and I can mention this. Okay, and compute type, we can select Azure Container Instance and authentication should be selected. Wait for the deployment to start. We'll click on this deploy. So whenever you will click on create, deploy, Right, so these things takes time and you will get a notification here that like, so this time you see that model is uh, success, deployment is successfully triggered. So as of now it's triggered, it's not deployed. Let's wait for it, okay? So here it's telling that it's in progress. I have clicked on that. 
right? So whenever it is successful, again, we'll get a notification. And it is telling that wait for deploy status to be succeeded, right? So here, if you see that, uh, it is telling that running state is unhealthy. So we'll see the deployment state has succeeded. And then our deployment is ready and we can test our model. So let's wait for it and then we'll do the testing. So it can take 10 to 15 minutes. You see that uh, it was coming unhealthy here. Now it is coming transitioning. So we'll have to wait till it becomes uh, succeeded. Then only we can uh, test the model. Right, as of now, deployment is in progress. So meanwhile, let me do a little revision, right? So we created a workspace, right? And then we came to this learning studio in automated ML. We created a new automated ML job. To that job, we provided the data. Right? It was a, like a wizard that we were going forward. So we provided this bank rental data. Then to the after the data was there, then we created a job which will run on this data and understand the data to which we call that the learning model was learning about the data, right? After that, uh, when we run that job, then it became a model after that, right? And then that model we deployed so that it can be tested and used. And when you deploy it, it comes under this endpoint. So we started with this automated ML, then data, then jobs, then it became model and then endpoint. And we'll open this endpoint. If you see now it's healthy and the operation state is succeeded. Okay, now we'll go to test. We'll test this model. Okay, I will give this data, whatever data, I will copy that. Okay, and I will paste it here. Okay, that on 1st January 2022. Okay, if this is the case, then how many bike rentals can happen? Okay, uh, I think I have copied something wrong. Okay, let me remove this explain word. Now let me test it. So what is telling that? It would be 364. Okay, let me change that. Instead of Vigdal mention it six and it was, uh, let's say holiday and the date is 2024 okay temperature i'll make it as five wind speed also some value i'll change and let me test it okay so it changes the value based on whatever we are giving so you see that now we are able to do the machine learning following that right after that uh like you are able to do it, you can go step by step. It will not charge you anything because as of now, nothing is running. This model is uh, running, right? So what we have to do is we will go back to all workspaces, right? Or uh, let me go back to portal.azure.com, right? So after all these experiments, like after you have learned and all, right? try to stop these models or delete it after you have understood it, right? So this was the resource group so not so that uh, there would not be any charges for all of that stuff right you can click on this and like don't be in a hurry like i have to complete the video that's why i am showing you this right you can copy and delete it once you understood how the things are happening or you are able to perform them right uh, spend some time maybe half an hour one hour to understand that okay these are the major steps uh, that were being done right here if you see now it is deleting the resource group. So whatever was there inside that uh, resource group, all of that would get deleted. And to see the cost, you can go to maybe cost analysis here. Okay. Or maybe from here, you can click this cost management plus billing. So now I might be charged 10 rupees back again, right? Because I ran that uh, algorithm once again to show you once I tried it before showing to you. So we can come to this uh, cost analysis here and it will show me all the accumulated cost, right? So that way I can control that how much I'm spending. But as of now, I got 16,000 uh, rupees free. So this will take some time that it's running. Okay. And here you will see that how much uh, money I have uh, spent as of now. 
so hope you like it and you learned something new that how you can if you have data and how you can run a machine learning algorithm on top of it and generate some logic right you will see this in most of the applications or many applications all all of this would be common in uh, some time right uh, but generally for big projects uh, it does not happen via these no code solutions right people will write code and machine uh, like data scientists would be involved but this gives you a chance to maybe use it in your uh, day to day life or integrate it easily in any existing application right so hope you like it do subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching